Good afternoon, I'm Ali Hoxie. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. We'll begin with the sentencing and the death of a road worker who was killed on the job. Martin Smith will serve seven months in jail and three years probation for the death of 26 year old Zachary Morissette in September. The victim's family is outraged by the judge's decision not to give him a stricter punishment. Zach was filling potholes at the time of the crash. Smith left the scene and didn't turn himself in until days later, saying he didn't know he hit anyone. The judge telling more the Morissette family our laws are designed for justice, not revenge. Now, there's a new future in sight for Detroit's legendary Kronk Gym. Emanuel Stored transformed the original Kronk Gym into a boxing haven, considered one of the best training centers in the world. They have produced world champions like Thomas Hitman Hearns. The original location was torn down after several fires in 2018. Today, Stored's daughter announcing a new partnership with the owner of Norway Boxing Gym in Westland. They say the partnership will mean more opportunities for kids. Detroit is celebrating the grand opening of a new location for Give Thanks Bakery. They cut the ribbon at 3800 Woodward in Midtown. That's between Mac and Canfield. The store offers a variety of baked goods. All of the breads and pastries are made in the classic French and German traditions. The hallmark of the breads is the long, cool fermentation of the doughs. It's a method that's been used in European bakeries for centuries. We do have uh, on and off showers as we go through the day today. Isolated thunder as well. So just make sure you have the rain gear for anything you're doing outdoors uh, today through tonight. And then temperatures in the mid 70s tomorrow. A slight chance for a shower. Warmest days Sunday and Monday. Both days pushing 80.